in this fifth video of medical education i will discuss the dust part of miller's pyramid where action or performance is elicited as we have already discussed in the miller's pyramid previously in that part learner or trainee truly performs through direct observation when performance is integrated into practice so lot of uh, professional procedural skills history taking examination practical skills ethics behavior and team working is part of performance of a doctor so all these attributes at workplace can be assessed by variety of tools now these tools are called workplace based assessment and that is our today's topic now what are these tools well these tools are log books reflective writing portfolios mini cex clinical evaluation cbd case based discussion dops direct observation of procedural skills donex direct observation of non clinical skills 360 degree multi source feedback so all these are included in work based based assessments now work place based assessments are important to ensure patient safety to improve the quality of clinical care to ensure that we are training correctly there are no weak links or loopholes in our training to develop competent doctors and to make sure there is always room for improvement now comes the most important diagram that what and how do we assess through workplace based assessments that what are the gadgets that assess different aspects of performance of a doctor well history clinical knowledge examination skills are assessed through mini clinical evaluation technique procedural skills through direct observation of uh, procedure skill dops professional behavior through direct observation of non clinical skills and interpersonal skills and uh, judgment through multi source feedback 360 degree evaluation so we have different uh, tools for uh, different type of assessments so workplace based assessments clearly tells you as a whole knowledge skills and attitude of a trainee that particular learning has taken place or not skill is mastered or not gives you feedback on communication skills behavior of a patient uh, attitude of a patient it helps to improve the performance via formative assessment which is also called assessment for learning informative and assessment of learning in summative at the end of the course it reliably differentiates past candidates from fail candidates so now let's discuss one by one now the most uh, important and most 
most widely done is mini cx it is less time consuming it should be completed uh, along with the filling of the feedback from pro forma within 30 minutes time frame is very necessary it is used uh, for history taking uh, physical examination uh, students or assessors selects a patient uh, student performs a focused clinical task for example history taking um, counseling physical examination procedural skill examiner directly observe the encounter assess the student performance in range of domains again like history examination communication skills clinical judgment and professional behavior task main focus may be one of the above domains are multiple uh, scoring is done um, in five to six grades uh, not satisfactory borderline borderline satisfactory good uh, fair good excellent so it should be completed within 30 minutes now to further clarify how domains are assessed history taking should be accurate organized and problem focused examination perform all necessary steps taking care of patient comfort procedure should be performed safely and according to the skill advised communication skills involve active learning responding ability to communicate clearly warmly sensitively and effectively with patient professional behavior include care compassion empathy and respect for the patient so i hope it is clear now um, mini cx can be carried out in opds wards ot's or even in the community other uh, similar uh, uh, tool is uh, dops uh, that are uh, that is more centered around checking the technical skills procedures and protocols it can also be done in opds wards and ot's then case based discussion clinical judgment diagnostic skills management is checked it is a learning from already done challenging case that what better could we have done in that case and what we have learned so next time we can do better than before then the portfolios uh, to promote self-directed learning, uh, to promote critical writing, uh, CV with evidence is portfolio logbook is uh, evidence to show achievements requ of required technical and non-technical skills, uh, 360 degree multi-source feedback uh, is uh, taking feedback from your colleagues, uh, professional team members, staff members, everyone that uh, comes in contact uh, with you at workplace, uh, usually check professionalism and teamwork. Direct observation of non-clinical skills is designed to provide feedback on uh, doctor performance of non-clinical skills by observing them chairing meeting communicating teaching supervising others so after watching this video you can have some idea that how workplace based assessments are done they can be divided into global like portfolios 360 degree multi-source feedback and encounter based uh, like mini clinical evaluation dops uh, do ncs mini pet uh, and you can also observe that uh, i have also shared the performers that uh, profile performers of uh, direct uh, observation uh, assessments uh, they are almost similar uh, they give you formative assessment uh, and that can help uh, improve their performance Thank you very much.